Double breasted. <laughs> Bad flick show. It's been uh, uh, a little while since I've uh, we've done the show. Um, in the process, I have gotten married. I went on my honeymoon, but now I'm back. I'm back for the, uh, <laughs> the viewing of bad movie clips to show show to you all here so <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us uh, yeah if this is your first time uh, seeing the show well uh, welcome um, Jenna's here she's very excited uh, Chris is also here very, yeah yeah there, there's comments that coming along it's it's ruining the order of, of how I explain the show so uh, <laughs> no first off the way the show works is I bring on my comedian friends uh, and I show them bad movie clips just random things from uh, that I found Throughout all of cinema's history, it's, it's really wild. I think tonight we have some as early as the 50s and then as late as uh, 2018. So all over the place. Uh, as you're seeing below those comments, uh, feel free to comment, join in on the show. Uh, if, they're, if they're funny, we'll uh, broadcast them right below. Uh, also, if they're bad, then uh, we'll also broadcast them below. So be careful. Uh, no one is safe there. Uh, but yeah, and feel free to share on uh, social media, whether it's Facebook, uh, or share with your friends uh, the YouTube link or Twitch. Do all that stuff. It's very exciting. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, I'm rambling, as I always do in the beginning, but uh, I want to get into it. Uh, we have a very, very fun show ahead, ahead of us here. Uh, I'm so excited about our special guest. Uh, he is uh, part of one of my favorite bands of all time. No, uh, no bias there. I think it's just the, one of the greatest bands of all time. Doesn't need my steel approval it's all <laughs> all great um he is currently uh he's released a ep called the invisible man you can get that on his website uh as well as on record store day they are have a vinyl special edition that you can get as well uh, he will be releasing the music video for it uh within uh, about two weeks before so uh get excited for that we have uh, <laughs> devo's gerald v casali and <laughs> hey <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, as well as some of our combi spot favorites. We have Sarah Og Mohammedy and Greg Saban. Nice, nice, nice. Hi. <laughs> I guess and we can talk. Uh, yeah, we're allowed we to talk. We had some technical now. difficulties okay. earlier. Uh, <laughs> so Dana is muted. That's if there's no, there was no beef beforehand or anything like that. Uh, uh, we're, <laughs> we're all good. So we found out just muting the microphone will give you a better audio experience here. So. Uh, <laughs> but she's still here with us, and uh, yeah, I think uh, I think we can just jump right into it with our first clip. Um, look, I, I think you think you can trust anybody that you run in contact with, you, even uh, your identical twin brother. But this clip will show you. Yeah, you cannot trust that that type of person. In the clip from uh, Neil Brin's Twisted Pair. real hard time telling which part of this is real and which part of this <laughs> is not real. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Buffering. <laughs> I knew it was you. Kale. No. Why haven't you contacted me? We're different. No, I'm different. I don't have what you have. But you could have at one time. But you threw it away. You let it go. Or it was taken from me. <laughs> That's probably right. <laughs> then I think they're also having tech issues. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. Okay. Okay. Scene two. <laughs> Thank you. 
who edited this thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's effects. Wow, I am blown away. Yikes. They tricked us. <laughs> Whoa. Just so dramatic. Well, <laughs> I mean, heavy. I was on the edge of my seat waiting for the next bit of dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> I think young creative of Wyden Kennedy will steal this and uh, turn it into a one-minute spy. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just... I, I like all the problem they had with eye lines. That was yeah. my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Yes, it's like they had zero. They, apparently, if you're, when you're doing green screen, you're supposed to have at least a stick with a tennis ball on it, so you know what you're looking yeah. at at any one time. <laughs> yeah. And this, this yeah. is just like, hey, just look vaguely, uh, not at camera one. Don't look at whatever you do. Don't look at the camera. <laughs> right. Look anywhere else. They, they might have needed to replace the stick man. Right. <laughs> well, and, and yeah, backstory um, with this movie and and Neil Neil Brenn's movies is he is like the star director writer producer so i don't know maybe he's, just, he's got too many hats on or something but yeah <laughs> the, the movies end up looking like this yeah <laughs> you know, not well, tour clearly right there you go yeah, renaissance man <laughs> <laughs> the the ridiculous lack of editing skills to get those lines to be in any way in conversation with each other was just exactly was just incredible <laughs> to be like no 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 i could edit this but let the silence speak for itself <laughs> yeah they really the took pauses. the pregnant pause all out yeah. to you yeah. know the full nine months of pregnancy yeah. well it makes you appreciate how good the room is you know right you yeah. this, and you you know the room is hard. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I, I liked uh, Lacey's comment. It's art. This is this is. <laughs> what, mm -hmm. what are you doing up there? It's art. Yeah. Boy, the 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 beard growing on his mirror image of himself felt yeah. like when you thought he's just an actor looking at himself. <laughs> like, I feel like he took what was probably a techno technology solution that they had figured out like during the Marx Brothers age of how to do a mirror scene and it rediscovered it for himself for the modern age using the same yeah. technology. It was kind of great. Yeah. Well, listen, if it doesn't become a blockbuster hit, it will make a really great ad for just for men hair coloring because, <laughs> you know, just really uniform and it matched, you know, the hair matched the beard. It, it was impressive. <laughs> right. I I well, love the you know, first scene. Dude, do, do you know what you go ahead? Oh, sorry. Oh, I, I was just gonna say I loved in the first scene how you could see the wrinkles in the windows. <laughs> it was oh, just, yeah. it was right. just like a, a sheet of painted sheet. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wanted to know when this film was made. Uh this, this one was uh two thousand eighteen. So <laughs> about, yeah, four years ago. <laughs> Okay, now it's funny. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. Oh, man. Well, yeah, that was, uh, yeah, quite a first clip to start off with. Um, before we get to our next clip, though, we always like to do our uh, question of the week. And, um, you know, sometimes we, just, we watch movies a lot that uh, might not be good. Maybe it's, a, you know, a, a form of de-evolution could be the case of watching uh, oh yeah, movie over and over again. Could be, could be. Uh, <laughs> but that's what got me thinking. Uh, what's like the worst movie that uh, that you've seen uh, the most amount of times? Uh, could be a, maybe a movie from your childhood, uh, or one that just happened to you know, come on TV all the time, and I don't know, can't can't put it right. down. Uh, but Sarah, let me start with you. Uh, worst movie you've seen the most times. So this movie started out as a recommendation by my dad to my brother and I when we were about 10 and 14 years old because he thought it was a documentary. And that movie was The History of the World Part One um, by Mel Brooks. 
And in fact, it is not a documentary, kids, but it was very educational. Anytime it's on TV, I have the movie essentially memorized. It's hilarious. It didn't age well, but um, I've certainly learned a lot about comedy and um, classic comedians. And um, the very first scene of the movie that takes place in the prehistoric era is evidence enough that it is not a movie meant for children. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> That's always what the kids like, right? right. Kids like that. I mean, we loved it. Mm -hmm. For sure. uh, yeah, the, that the Inquisition swim scene in uh, History of the World Part One is Mel Brooks at his finest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good. So good. Oh, man. World history. So yeah. <laughs> I, I think the line that sticks to me sticks with me more than any other from that is in the Roman times when he goes, you are nuts, NVTS nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Such a fun movie, for sure, for sure. Uh, Gerald, what about you? Uh, the worst movie you've seen the most amount of times. Right. And of course, you got to, you know, for the sake of argument, you have to qualify that because if you watch it multiple times, it's really so bad, it's good. So it's really not bad. For sure. Because you're, mm -hmm. you're watching it because there's something unintentionally genius about it in its stupidity mm -hmm. and uh my favorite one uh on that level that i watched at least 10 times is the sadist uh starring arch hall jr directed by jim landis back i think in 1963 it was vilmos zygmunt's first assignment when he immigrated to america as, as a cinematographer he was relegated uh, in the Hollywood system to doing like B exploitation, low budget movies. And the sadist is just so bad. It's good. It's brilliant. <laughs> and the, uh, the editing and camera work alone is enough to keep you watching over and over. And of course, then the really bad acting that's <laughs> entertainingly over the top. For sure, I don't think I don't think that's come up on uh, on the show. I've been doing the show for a while. I don't, oh, I, I gotta, oh, that's 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 a must watch. All of yeah, a sudden, yeah, yeah. I'm slacking. For oh, sure. you you've never seen it? I, never I seen haven't. It? No, no. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> oh, it was also called Profile of Terror. You know, one of these things that came out under two different titles for whatever reason, and it's just these this teacher that takes this substitute teacher and his friend to a Dodgers game at Chavez Ravine, but they never get there. And uh, they, cause they stop at a little country, uh, like one pump farmhouse, gas station, chicken coop set up, you know, sure, yeah, yeah. Really exist. <laughs> and they encounter uh, Archall Jr. playing a teenage psycho and his retarded girlfriend, Oof. Oof, Tina. <laughs> and everybody dies. There, nice. <laughs> I'm jotting it down. I, yeah, yeah, that's yep. that's gonna be my evening doing. Yeah. <laughs> <I think>. yeah. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Uh, Greg, what about you? Uh, the worst movie you've seen the most times. So, you know, I think uh, uh, I'm of a certain age where a very Gen X thing was you had videotapes at home, usually somehow you could you would tape something either off the tv or you had two vcrs and you would tape several videotapes at a time when you when you could and therefore you had like a library of about 12 to 20 movies at home that you could watch whenever you wanted and i realized very recently that one of the films i have seen the most often and i i had no idea i had seen it this often but i saw it and i realized i knew every single line <laughs> was the James Belushi masterpiece canine. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I literally knew every beat, every line, and I'm like, what is going, like, where has this been in my brain that this is like, oh, here's the part where Ed Harris comes on. Oh, this is, no, not Ed. Who do I uh, uh, Ed O'Neill, sorry, Ed O'Neill, not Ed Harris. If Ed Harris had been in canine, that would have been the best. <laughs> Like Ed O'Neill shows up and then there's the evil, you know, the evil Russian guy and there's a dog and, and the dog eats a cue ball. It's <laughs> uh, it's one of the uh, it, it, it's a masterpiece of cop 
dog buddy crime comedies. <laughs> there was that. There was Turner and Hooch. There was yes. another one now that I'm trying to remember. Um, if anybody can remember another uh, cop and dog movie, uh, there was there was a run of them in about 1989, and Canine was the one somehow that is stuck in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, <laughs> I, I feel like that that is is one of those movies that's like on TBS or TNT all the time, and like, yeah, I'm, I now have it playing. I guess I'm gonna let this play out there. Yeah. <laughs> well, cool. Yeah, um, Does anyone else? Did anyone else have the that? Brother experience? who lived. <laughs> yeah, right. That brother. <laughs> oh wow. He's he's a master of kind of sweat hog presence. As <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Uh, he peaked uh, for me. He peaked in the man with one red shoe. True. Uh, there you go. Which still holds up. Which still holds up. That's a fun movie. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Well, uh, we're gonna jump into our next clip here. Alex. Uh, Alex, what horrible movie <laughs> have you seen more oh. often than you would like to admit? Oh yeah. Oh, um, man. So many options, uh, <laughs> especially in, in doing this show. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I've seen The Room many a time, the Tommy Wiseau movie. Uh, that's that's absolute garbage, but but hilarious. Um, I I know as a kid, and I, I played uh, I played clips from this uh, movie a few times on the show, but there was this movie that we were given in elementary school called The Buttercream Gang, and it was. <laughs> very goofy like it was these kids from like suburban illinois and uh, they helped the community one of the <laughs> one of the kids in the group lives in chicago for a year and comes back like i don't know like he, he was in an actual gang and is like disrupting the town and so they're trying to like i don't know uh get their friend back there mentally and uh it's uh, it's very dramatic. I remember being very dramatic as a kid, but now it's it's absolutely hilarious as an adult. So. <laughs> Little buttercream gang. Um, that's, really that's sounds the porn. least intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Right? That's the least intimidating gang name I've ever heard. The, the, butter, the butter, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> buttercream. Butter. Uh, the Chantilly lace thugs. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh jeez. Uh, <laughs> Fantastic. Well, yeah, let's uh, let's jump into this next clip. Um, this next clip, if you were at the last, I, I do another show called uh, Trash Movie Improv, where we do improv based and uh, bad movie clips that I find. Uh, so this is actually a clip from our last show. Uh, it is from a uh, work safety video from, uh, I believe, 1960. This could be 62. But um, yeah, just got to be safe in the workplace, even if it's construction. Uh, and here's a clip from Shake Hands with Danger. Fingers aren't the only things to think about when working with track. A near miss <laughs> due to the mechanic's failure to restrain the track before he unloosened it at a high point. <laughs> Here, they're about to push a high sprocketed machine from an old set of tracks onto a new set. With both tracks removed, the machine is free to roll. On a slight grade, it may just take off. <laughs> <laughs> Machines go rogue. Uh -oh. <laughs> My baby! Yeah, that's... If they'd had an operator in the machine, he could have stopped it by dropping the ripper or blade. Now, they should have planned proper blocking and restraint. But better still, they should change one track at a time. Then there can't be a roll away. Hurry and failure to heed safety warnings can also endanger those doing routine maintenance. Despite constant warnings about hot oil and pressure systems, some optimist always thinks he can get his hand away in time. <laughs> oh, God. 
optimist. <laughs> <laughs> that guy didn't hit his head, is it me? Yeah, because you can't get that. Little preview. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. I mean, that would warm Devo's hearts. I mean, we, right. we, we just couldn't get enough of industrials and uh, educational films from the 50s and 60s that we doted on that stuff. For sure. And, and this is fantastically contrived and bad. But the voiceover narrator, narrator, He's right out, you know, that's classic. That's like mm. Spotswood in uh, Team America, yeah. <laughs> which they were stealing all that stuff. Right. It's incredible. <laughs> There's yeah, something but... about a, a high sprocketed machine that gives just, just that <laughs> extra oomph to any any video. Uh, the, the height of a sprocket is, <laughs> is just mm, delicious. <laughs> Can't do yeah. that for sure. It is important to always run out in front of any, you know, moving, <laughs> potentially moving vehicle, moving parts, repairs, always run out in front of it at just the critical moment. You know, yeah. you can't, you can't beat these safety videos. This is gold. Right. 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 It was pretty brilliant the way they got that, that, uh, I guess, bulldozer to start sliding backwards. I mean, that they actually, for the sake of this video, ruined a perfectly good truck. <laughs> yes. there, there was there was some budget there was some yeah. budget here and it, yeah and you can kind of see like in the background there's just like a giant mound of dirt like if it just goes right in the dirt i think we're okay but uh, bad luck bad we've luck, got man. money in the budget for a truck so let's <laughs> yeah. let it rip bring it out <laughs> the title said it all right <laughs> shake hands with danger yeah. shake hands that's right <laughs> that was that was great. Shake hands with danger. I loved when the track just starts falling out and the guy just does a just does the big yeah. fall. The, oh yeah. man. He you know he worked on that. Did they audition for that part? Or was it just like who's gonna do the fall? Jim's gonna do the fall. Have you right. seen Jim do a dive in the dirt? It's mwah, chef's kiss. <laughs> it was like a movie punch where nobody really gets hit. Right. Except even better. I think they only had one take. That's my feeling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he nailed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he nailed it shut. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. Very, yeah, very good lessons here. Uh, <laughs> with shake hands with danger. Uh, but, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep going here with our next clip. Um, I have to pull up my notes because the <laughs> title of the movie is very, very long. But um, I think this movie here is really something that um, expands the zombie genre. Uh, I, I, it, it was made in 1964. And I mean, I, I, you, know, you could really do anything. Why not make a, a zombie musical type movie? Uh, so I had trouble finding just a, the perfect clip. So I just went ahead and just grabbed the trailer for uh, the incredibly strange creepers who stop living and become mixed up zombies. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's, and run for that's your famous. Life. Incredible yeah. is the word for the world's <laughs> first <laughs> monster musical. See in magnificent Eastman color, the daring, dancing, enticing, and horrifying, the incredibly strange creatures who stopped living and became mixed up zombies. From the innocence of music and laughter comes the twilight of terror. Along the midway, scantily clad dancers luring the young lovers into the sideshows. See the dancing girls of the carnival murdered by the incredible night creatures of the midway. <laughs> I really know that something evil lies ahead for me. An unspeakable oh. pit of dismal subhuman monsters who drool and gibber, moaning for the thrill of revenge. Incredible are the songs, the gaiety, the zombie stomp of those who will stop living. And then the mix-up, trickery, and the device to ruin. 
See the hunchback of the midway fight a duel of death with the mixed up zombies, turning men into monsters, twisted, tormented human vultures, yearning to kill. Incredible creatures clutching at the thin threads of their miserable lives. Human vultures, only the weird zombies remain. Obey. Who is the woman branded in birth wearing the ward of horror? Do as Madame Estrella said. The world's first monster musical. The incredibly strange creatures who stopped living and became mixed up zombies. <laughs> a classic, That's good. Indeed. <laughs> That is a, yeah, classic a classic movie trying yeah. to meet a word count. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two words. Human vultures. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got to be right at the top of the list of bad flicks. I mean, it's, oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that was, all, that was featured in Michael Weldon's uh, famous book from 30 years ago, Psychotronic. It's basically... The Bible of, quote, bad movies. It's a compendium, an encyclopedia. And that was one of them that's featured. <laughs> that is one of the more incredible uh, uh, trailers I've ever seen. I love how... Fantastic. Mm -hmm. The cutaways that they would actually describe exactly, like just a rundown <laughs> of what was going to happen. You know, mid -back, midway hunchback, girls undressed, fighting zombies. <laughs> It's like, and like when an you see the PowerPoint. film, any, and when you right. see the film, every good moment is in the trailer. The rest is <laughs> it's, it's, just yawn garbage. Yeah, it seems like a fun movie. Yeah, I, I watched it years ago. We used to here in Sacramento had uh, these like midnight movies at the, the theater downtown called uh, the Trash Film Orgy, and that was I remember that being one of the midnight movies. And yeah. There, yeah, there's some fun parts, but yeah, not, not as entertaining as the, the trailer itself. <laughs> it's a great movie. You know, they say that people who have anxiety, um, you know, struggle obviously with watching scary movies or anything with suspense, but um, they'll watch, will re watch something that they know what's going to happen. And this is a great movie because it's all in the title and then <laughs> in the introductions to the various acts of you know exactly what's going to happen so that you can, you know, uh, you know, ground yourself appropriately and do your ujjayi breath and really just kind of <laughs> calm down your anxiety because it's a scary movie with a lot of explanation. <laughs> and as a person with anxiety, I appreciate that. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's there plenty of opportunities least... to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There was at least the one scene they showed, which I thought was like, there seemed to be dancing girls being attacked behind a wall of just what appeared to be a wall of marijuana plants. Right. Uh, <laughs> as part of the background, it was just any type of counterculture thing they could throw in there, they were going to throw in there while they had whatever that half a day to film people on rides. Oh, that was, that was just, that was just great. That's fantastic. Yeah, the, the first person perspective, kind of towards the beginning, like basically trying to get them drunk, or whatever, just kind of pour, like throwing, <laughs> dousing, I assume vodka or something like that on on, <laughs> on the camera. Like, oh no, boy, <sighs> getting hammered. Oh boy. I did love, I've never seen a burlesque performer do the curtain wrap bra remove. <laughs> that was, that's a move that could come back. That's, mm -hmm. That's got legs. <laughs> You just yeah, won't see that because it's all behind the camera, <laughs> but you can imagine. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. the phrase, uh, scantily clad females, I think that's, I can't count the number of times that's used in exploitation film trailers. Mm -hmm. You always hear scantily clad females. Right. <laughs> It's make or break with some people. If it doesn't have it <laughs> in the trailer, I'm not right? It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Classy clad? Ah, I'm sorry. I, I can't. I can't watch this. Yeah. Women in sensible shoes and business suits. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I don't. That's a. It's a bit controversial. I don't. I don't. Check out French maids in coverall. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, 
Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, uh, we'll keep it moving here with our, our fourth clip. Uh, it wouldn't be the bad right. flick show without just some weird creatures. Um, so I got I to bring it to you <laughs> each week here. Uh, this is a clip from the movie The Angry Red Planet. Hey, let's take a closer look at them. Okay, Sammy can tell you stay here. Keep Cleo handy. I'll go with nice you. Spikus. Tom. <laughs> like <Yeah>. a space <laughs> machete. Let's get back to the ship. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> I couldn't tell well, that was Alex. Just... Um, he... Oh, sorry. If that was the emergency broadcast system right. or if that was the, <laughs> the bat cursing them and that was the network sensor curse, uh, bleeping out whatever the bat rat mm. spider was saying. <laughs> We, we got to run this test. I know it's during the movie, but we have to <laughs> make sure people know what the emergency broadcast it's is. It's genius yeah, production Did you see design. How Tom handed and... the machete. Oops. Yeah, you know, oh, sorry, you always have a machete on Mars. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the, but it's and brilliant they're... production design. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. The costumes, the, 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 the uh, soundtrack, the, 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 the use of. Uh, high contrast printing of film and negative i mean it's it's great man or astro man could just insert themselves in there playing one of their songs and you'd have a great music video. that would be, <laughs> That'd be great that it, would be it was definitely it it had charm i'll tell you that there was there was something ever so slightly cute about that creature and you always, you always wanted to be like, why are they fucking with this guy? Like, it's they're on his planet. Mm -hmm. They show up. They start cutting away at his legs. You'd be pissed too if somebody showed up yeah. and started space yeah. macheteing your legs. Mm -hmm. Come on, I mean, all he was no, doing definitely. is just like, hey, just trying to trap the bugs. Just trying to trap them. <laughs> Blind yeah. thing with the sound laser. Spiders are good for the environment. 
Right. <laughs> Wait, what was that? What? It said spiders are good for the environment. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, the humans once again were the transgressors. They're they're in the wrong. Right. <laughs> right. Dangerous species. Nothing mm. more lethal as a species than human beings. Right. Right. On any planet, so it, whether it's Earth or yeah, in this case Mars. It's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, wherever we go, we take our psychosis with us. Right, 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 right. That, <laughs> that does spread. I just, I, re I do hope, I'm going to emphasize this again, I really do hope that we all took note of the proper way of handing off the machete. Because if you notice, <laughs> Tom handed the hand, you know, pulled it out, turned the sharp side towards himself, you know, away from his body and gave her, gave him the, gave her the handle. And I, I think shaking hands with safety would be very, very proud of uh, Machete Tom. You're right. It's kind of like an operating room with the orderly <laughs> yes. hand and the doc galpo. Yeah. Yep. That's, I mean, Sarah, that's, you, yeah. you would know that what that's like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I thought. Machete to you, sir. Mm -hmm. They watch <laughs> Shake Hands with Danger. They know. They know about work safety. Yeah, yeah. Whether it's <laughs> whether it's on Earth or on, on yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was there was something about that creature. I felt very bad when they blinded it. I was just I felt a yeah. little bad for him. I was just like, come on, come on. Maybe just <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe just your your sonic mosquito sensor thing to get him away. But that's 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 a, okay, well, blinding yeah. the poor thing. <laughs> Now he's gonna have to go on disability. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's getting workman's comp for sure. Well, he, he was kind of cute. It looked like a baby Martian bat, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, yeah. wild stuff there. Uh, well, let's uh, we'll move on to our last clip. Um, we haven't uh, I haven't shown a lot from this actor in a while, although I feel like he is um, really famous with the bad flick show maybe put us on the map uh, <laughs> but i am talking about uh, the turkish actor that looks like jay leno uh who's a superstar um in turkey uh, this is a clip from a movie that he did that is supposed to be the uh, turkish version version of star wars called the man that <laughs> saved the world <laughs> The editing of this thing is insane. <laughs> Turkish Jay Leno does not disappoint. <laughs> no. No. He's a hero. Hero for us all. <laughs> the, it really, like, it, I don't know, it, it, it locks me in when he rips off uh, someone's head and then throws it at someone else and they explode. Then I'm, 
I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, I got my popcorn ready. I'm, I'm in this movie now. <laughs> the like half second Star Wars clips that are just <laughs> vaguely just, just pop up, you know, a little TIE fighter, a little X-Wing fighter. Uh, uh, there's Millennium Falcon and there's a guy ripping off heads <laughs> again, <laughs> again, again, and again. Oh, Death Star. Guy ripping off heads <laughs> again, <laughs> again, again. That was incredible. Not an Ewok in sight. Nailed it. Yeah, I mean, that's what you got to do when you don't have a budget. You have full head rubber masks. Uh, you got to use editing razzmatazz. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> got to cut it there. <laughs> Did anyone have any secret satisfaction when he beat the crap out of the Elmo looking guy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I hear Elmo music all the time, and that that one <laughs> right in the feels. I was not sorry for him. Nice. <laughs> Sarah, I'll, have to, I'll send you oh. over the clip. Just you know, you can play that as like th some thera you know, therapeutic uh, ways. There. I do need it to help me with my relaxation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that produced a lot of anxiety. I didn't. I didn't think it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, this, it was, it was, it was like, it, at the beginning, you were thinking like, okay, if, yeah, if the stormtroopers, I think even Alex might have said, it, like, if the stormtroopers only had toilet paper um, <laughs> as an outfit, rather than the full on stormtrooper outfit, it would, they were somewhere between a stormtrooper and a mummy. And yeah. he was just, just destroying them. It was fantastic. <laughs> oh, it was great. Uh, and I think yeah. we do have it queued up, uh, but Gerald, the, the first time seeing a clip from this actor <laughs> really just took this show by storm. Um, I don't know. We probably played it nice way too many times. Nice um, but uh, do we have that queued up, Dana? Do we? Uh, yeah. This is this is I don't know. Legendary <laughs> clip for the show, I guess. Uh, we'll have to the original. Check it out here. We're so excited for you, Gerald. <laughs> this is this is really a treat. Yeah, because you play a character Şöyle durun bakayım şimdi katır tekmesini yiyeceksiniz. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> no wonder he's a star. So right. Uh. Oh, I'm just imagining that same guy though like working at a bakery in the mornings. Like he's got that like very happy energy. It's like you know, making donuts, whatever it's going to be. Right. And it goes out and fights crime in the late <clears throat> afternoon after he's off. Yeah. Yeah, he's got some no-nonsense moves there. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> I he's always rocking enjoy the, the... the silver fox hair. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just... It's so smooth, yeah. Right. <laughs> and just the um, the impact is, just sounds like a shotgun. Uh, each Each kick, each punch, it's all... You know, reuse that sound effect over and over again. It's great. <laughs> I like that you were that you were just brave enough to call that previous movie the Turkish version of Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> as 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 not descriptive as you could be, while at the same time giving us the ethos of the whole thing, because that was just just. A, I beaten up on toilet paper monsters with a half second tie fighter clip thrown in. Oh, that was great. That was fantastic. Oh, so good. <laughs> I, you know, turkey. Was, was... Good old, good old turkey. The, the yeah. gifts that turkey gives. He, uh, yeah, he's just a gold mine of yeah, just great clips. Great, yeah, you're great. I don't know. Movies, movies are fine. There are some 
you know lulls in the movies, but there are some great scenes, and those those are those are just two of the mountain of that that is Turkish Jake Lino. <laughs> this is one thing I learned. This is a very strange thing. I'll just throw this out here because we have a few minutes. Uh, so the fact that we call the bird Turkey and that a country Turkey, right? Mm -hmm. In Brazil, they call the bird Turkey Peru. Ooh. Oh. Huh. Isn't wow. that interesting? <laughs> they call it another country's name. Isn't that weird? That is strange. That's I a no mic idea. drop. That's right very there, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. can't top that, Greg. Enough said. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I mean, that is a perfect segue into our, our, our last segment here. What we what we learned about <laughs> being here on the Bad Flick Show. That is definitely uh, something I I have learned. Uh, but I want to know what the uh, the guests thought from these clips. The very very bizarre clips tonight. Uh, <laughs> very fun though. Oh yeah. What what uh, what did you learn about your time here on the Bad Flick Show? What are you gonna take with you on a, on life's journey here? Uh, Sarah, I'll have you go first. What did you learn by your time here on the Bad Flick Show? Well, I learned if you really want to build suspense, drag it out as long as possible. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, very true. Very accurate. <laughs> Gerald, what about you? What, what did you learn by your time here on the Bad Flick Show? Uh, I, I think I was humbled. Uh, <laughs> I I don't want to. I don't want to be. Um, accused of, of, of being condescending towards other cultures. Uh, I, I just think the, uh, the capacity and amount of human expression around the planet is just amazing. Like there's always more than you think you've seen or think you know. It's incredible. Sure. Sure. I mean, in a way, nothing here was funny. It was mm. sad. Very yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Very true. Very <laughs> accurate. True. <laughs> Uh, Greg, what about you? What did you learn about your time here on the Bad Flick Show? Uh, you know, in, in today's show, I think uh, some lessons that I learned are are twofold. One, keep your oil cool and your sprockets high. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the live by, for sure. <laughs> Slow clap for you, Greg. <laughs> Uh, I want to know how that gang, uh, how that gang made their buttercream, by the way. Right, that right. Buttercream gang. Oh, we gotta find yeah. out. Well, yeah. Um, that was our show. Before like, we go, though, we had a couple plugs there. Um, once again, wanted to bring up um, Gerald's got the the EP that's out. You can get it on his website as well. Uh, pick it up at record store day. Go to uh, a local record shop. Buy it there. Uh, I know I'm gonna go to Phono Select to get it uh, here in town off Fruit Ridge. Uh, as well as that, but we, uh, Sarah and, and Greg, I believe, have shows this weekend. Uh, Sarah, if you want to go ahead and uh, talk about the Hypothetics there. Yeah, thanks, Alex. Um, we've got Hypothetics this Friday at 8 o'clock, and then Riot on Saturday at 8 o'clock as well. For sure. And right after uh, Hypothetics on, uh, <laughs> on, on Friday uh, is, is my other show, Trash, uh, Trash Movie Improv, which is like this show, uh, but instead of the commentary, we do improv scenes based on these weird clips so uh if, if you love this you're gonna absolutely love that as well uh and greg you have uh anti-cooperation league uh anti-cooperation yeah. league it's gonna be our 495th show <laughs> um on saturday <laughs> at nine o'clock at the sacramento comedy spot and save the date everybody uh december 16th december 16th is the oh, annual yes. comedy spot holiday show it's going to be yeah. uh, music and comedy and merriment celebrating all festivities and all holidays of the uh of the uh, the winter solstice so uh make sure you buy your tickets now you can get them online at sackcomedyspot.com uh for the holiday show this is our 27th annual i believe <laughs> give or take wow <laughs> that's good fantastic I just want to reiterate, uh, mm. for any of you who have never seen it, The Sadist. Check sadist, it out. yes. The sadist. <laughs> and if you get through that, then you want to watch The Side Hackers in 1969. It was made then. Also known as Five the Hard Way. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, yes. This, that's my homework for today. That is... <laughs> I'm going to go home and watch it. You won't it's believe great. it. Yeah. <laughs> A movie well, uh, with one title is not worth watching, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's how it works. 
And see, uh, well, can I think watch they were running again. from credit. Why not? <laughs> that's, it. Oh, that's, a, that's exactly the right idea gerald yes fantastic well um yeah uh, sarah greg thanks for joining us uh, gerald thank it's thank been you. such a treat having you. you on the show really appreciate you, you doing this uh with us here and uh, it's incredibly fun uh and, and as always thank you the viewer for uh <laughs> joining us tonight uh we'll see you next time and uh and dana sure. uh, although had you know Muted microphone is was very happy as well. Great job. Uh, <laughs> make sure everything stayed afloat there. Always, always fantastic. But we'll see y'all. Uh, we'll see y'all next week.